Hey guys, welcome back to another Army OCS video. My name is Cole and I answer all questions OCS. So today I'll be talking about officer branch selection, active duty a little bit, but mostly reserves and National Guard because that's what I'm familiar with. Uh, however, I do know uh, a little bit about both. So what is a branch? The branch is essentially your MOS. It's the officer equivalent of an enlisted uh, person's MOS. Enlisted soldiers, when they sign up for the Army, they sign a contract guaranteeing them a certain MOS for a certain number of years. They go to basic training, then on to AIT to become a subject matter expert in that certain MOS. The officers do a little bit different. They commission first, whatever that may be, being West Point or ROTC, OCS. However they choose to commission, doesn't really matter. They will eventually uh, go through the branch selection process. Now, regardless of how you get your commission, there is going to be a block of instruction set aside for branch briefs, and they're gonna go through all the branches. They'll bring in different experts on each branch or at least members of that branch or somebody that is knowledgeable about the branch and kind of explain everything to you, uh, give you a quick rundown in 30 minutes, or maybe less, maybe like 20 minutes per branch. Uh, and it'll be like, a four or five hour event where it'll be one after another and you'll take a break and then you'll go uh, you'll talk to transportation, you'll talk to infantry, you'll talk to field artillery, you'll talk to all these different branches. And if you're in the National Guard, you'll just get the branches that are available in your state. So for example, I'm in Kansas, we're very field artillery heavy and logistics heavy. Both of those branches had extra emphasis However, we are able to choose other branches as well. There's just not as much room for promotion. So for example, in my class, most people, I would say probably 70% or so got some sort of logistics branch. We had one or two infantrymen. We had a couple MPs. I went aviation and we had a couple other thrown in there. I think we had a military intelligence as well, but the majority of us were assigned a logistics branch. I say assigned a branch because you are technically assigned. However, you do get some say, at least in state OCS, you do get a little bit of say on what branch you're gonna be in. So they'll ask you for your branch picks, your top five, your top 10, I can't remember what it was, but your top few that you want, and then they'll kind of pick and choose from there. Now on active duty, they're gonna go off the OML. So if you're an active duty OCS or West Point, one of those active duty commissioning sources, they're gonna use the college transcripts. If those apply, they'll use your PT score, they'll use your testing scores, your peer evals and whatever else they have to rank you from one all the way down to the bottom. So the first to last, they will do the whole entire class. So how the OML is supposed to work is the higher you are, the more likely you are to get a branch that you want. Uh, they, I believe they say the top three, if you're in like the top 10%, you're more than likely to get one of the top three branches you choose. Now I don't wanna jinx anybody, but and it may seem kind of strange. However, I do think most people in my class got the branch they really wanted. Uh, at least in the top two or three branches they wanted. For example, I really wanted aviation. That was my number one and I got it. I know a couple guys just wanted to be logistics. So they filled their top two or three in with logistic branches and they end up getting one of those logistic branches. However, we did have two or three people not get anything close to what they wanted. For example, somebody wanted MP and I believe he got engineer or something along those lines. And then we even had somebody who wanted cyber end up getting infantry. So that wasn't good for him. However, uh, that was just one person in our entire class that that happened to. Branch briefs happen early on in phase two. So you kind of have a little bit of time to choose a branch you want, then a lot of time to realize, okay, this is the branch I'm going to. Maybe this is what I should do to prepare for Bullock and kind of research it more and more, just so you have an idea of what to expect. Now, somewhat comparable to an enlisted soldier's AIT, you will have Bullock. It ranges between four months or as much as, I think 16 or 18 months is aviation's Bullock. So there's kind of a wide variety. Most of them are between like four and six months. And Bullock will be a full-time gig. It'll be in a different state more than likely and you will move to that base for six months or so to complete your bullet. For the most part, you'll end up going to Bullock not too long after you get your commission, and then when you come back from Bullock, you'll start as a PL, for, generally start as a PL at your new unit. So to summarize, active duty federal OCS, you'll do the OML, uh, ROTC's probably the same way, West Point's definitely that way. On the guard, on the reserve side, the OCS program is gonna be a little bit different. You're gonna get more of a choice of what you want, for the most part, not always, but for the most part, you'll get to pick your branch, at least your top few, and they'll pick from those. It is state dependent, so make sure you know, and you can look it up online, what states have what branches, and specifically what branches are heavy in your state because they are different. 
You can find this information pretty easily online or through a local recruiter. And I'll try to leave some information for you guys down in the description box below. I know a lot of you guys probably aren't through OCS yet. Maybe you're thinking about joining OCS. I definitely have some good information for you guys as far as what to do before you go to OCS. And like I said, I'm more familiar with state OCS, so I can give you guys some study materials and things to look at before you go to OCS. Just check in the description box down below, stateocs.com, and you can get some of that information there. Anyway, guys, if this was valuable to you, I'd appreciate you leaving a like down below and maybe even subscribe and come back for more later. But as always, have a good one, and I'll see you in the next video.